Welcome back to Area DMG. I'm your host, Phil Wesley, the um, Ally Mouth, and here's a game from Rather Like a Games. I'm powered by Unity. It's the engine everybody uses, pretty much. And this is Raven Sword Shadowlands. Let's take a look at the options. View distance, uh, sensitivity, music volume, difficulty. This is a difficulty slider. Hmm. Let's put the view distance all the way up. Just because. Um, it has auto aim on it for some reason. Anywho, this is a um, $7 game on the Nintendo eShop, and uh, it was provided to us by Radalika. Always a shout out to them. They always publish some entertaining stuff. After the fall of Ravengar, the world tumbled into chaos. The Raven Sword was lost, and the dark times began. The dark elven invaders attacked human settlements among the blah blah blah. Raged across the Northlands. Oh, it's got voice acting now. At last, the dark elves retreated to their greatest stronghold, the fortress at Heronmar. Mm. Seeking victory, the Archmage called upon all able warriors to join the human forces and march to the final battle. I bet that doesn't go right. Ready your blades, lads. To battle! Glory for Tyrius! Oh, wait. Yeah, okay. Who's left? Okay, cool. A button. Dodge. Is there a dodge? What was the dodge again? Um, wait. Oh, it doesn't look like it's going to tell me what the... um. Okay, there we go. Okay, R button to use magic. I don't have magic. Okay. Oh, yes, just let, just stand there and let me swing at you. Boink, boink. Oh, that guy had a pretty dramatic little death there for a moment. Whoops. Oh, so pushing down brings the camera up, right up, yeah. It's an inverted camera. Sort of. And here's, I guess, an orc? Something? We'll find out. Oh, that's, that's, that's lovely. Okay. Giant troll. Skill increase. Oh, it's standing on me, so I'm just gonna... <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Wait, was that something in the. Oh gosh. Look at the clipping. Okay, let, let's walk over here. Yeah, and let's, uh, let's run. You can't hide now, apparently. That's what they said. Still increased. Anyways, I'm guessing that something goes horribly wrong. Waiting for dragons to show up. Some kind of eye of soaring type thing. All those who took the field, human and elf, died that dark day. Oh man, I just took the field, so I just died. Short game. All save one. The chosen one. The one with the weirdly ironic tattoo. They're like, I wanted to get a tribal tattoo, but I thought maybe circle and squiggly lines would be good too. Enough, Perdis. You see, let him rest. I will watch over him. Okay. <laughs> God, I love how blocky everything kind of is. Easy now, there's nothing to fear. You're back in Ava, oh God. safe and sound. Get yourself cleaned up, then you can go and see Perdis. He's been waiting for you to wake. Okay. Oh, I can mess around with like, uh, oh, there's, um, something. Mess around with like, options. Vip. Eye color. Do like red. Jaw length. Jaw width. 
Which I rule. Anyways. Nose here. Make a huge brow or a tiny brow. It's too hair. What do we got? We got hair color options, but they don't really they don't look like a change. Wait, no, we are not we're not done with customization. Let's mess around with these hairstyles, see what they have here. <laughs> let's let's make this character look kinda ridiculous. Let's find let's find something that's uh Okay. Oh, that's a terrible looking beard. There's a better one. That's a better beard. Mutton chops, goatee. Okay, that stash is pretty great. Let's go over here. Let's go for that must. Um, oh. oh, we're going to do the mustache. A big, um, bold mustache. And let's change this hair color. Okay, we got a uh, red-ish, kind of blue-ish, grayish. I can't tell. That looks green. Skin. Let's see. Face. <laughs> what? Let's do face detail. Whoa! Weird face details. Oh. Okay. That. That right there. Uh. No. Wait. Oh, there's so many of those to choose from. <laughs> I, I think we're just gonna go with this, because it's weird. Okay, we're done. Hey, you're looking much better now. How did I get here? You were brought here after the Battle of Harrenmar. We were hoping you could tell us what happened out there. People say a dark fire appeared in the sky and the battlefield went silent. Well, what happened was I got attracted by a troll and then it kind of clipped above my head so I just swung the air for a little bit until it died. And then the uh, cutscene told me I died. But me, that's what everyone wants to know. How did you survive when everyone else did not? Um, and what caused the dark magic that appeared in the sky? Probably dark magic. Okay, who is who are you? Who is Perdis? But this person just told me what their name was earlier, I think. So probably just do this. But this is the good master for the champions of Tyrus. Tyrius, or Tyrius, Tyrius, and a loyal friend. He is eager to speak to you. Okay, tell me more about the guild. We are a guild dedicated to preserving the kingdom and protecting its people, and defeating that other guild run by Felicia Day. After Val Harrenmar, only myself and Pertis remain. Now you all have, now we have you as well. Who are you? My name is Lena. I am the spy master for Lena or Lana. Lena? Hmm. Lena. And you are our newest member. This might have to gather information from the citizens or whatever. Blah blah blah. Okay, cool. So let's say bye. Okay, so mm. Okay. I failed. I failed. What? I can't hide. Oh, I can go, uh, wait, can I go first per- I can move in first person. That's, that's always good. Ugh, okay. Let's go to options. Okay, so, I don't know, leave on, invert, we're gonna turn off. Oh, that's better. This seems like one of those things where you could probably, like, um, I do have a thing so I can connect up a mouse and keyboard. So it seems like it'd be one of those that you'd use that for. It seems like something you'd see on like a Steam for like a penny. But a lot of it looks like a lot of care went into it. Ah, I mean, awake at last, I see. It's good to see you up and about. It's this nice to see the developers world, doing the their own voice the acting. And I am Purtis. I bid you welcome. Come, stay a while, listen. What happened at Heronmar? I wish I knew. Some sort of dark magic was at work. Was it dark magic? Are you sure? Both armies were entirely wiped out, except for you. So they weren't entirely wiped out. So I won. 
I mean, that's how it works, right? He knew the Dark Elves. With both armies devastated, the war was over, at least for now. Last we heard, the few remaining Dark Elves had retreated into a network of tunnels beneath the ruins of Heronmar. So they're hiding, like, dumbs, which are like those um, decommissioned underground military bases. If you look those up, there's a ton of them around the United States. <laughs> they hide Dark Elves! Need some equipment. Of course, I have a sword and some armor for you here. And some gold pieces. You know what I love about these fantasy worlds? They're always like, Hey there, stranger. You're awake. Here, have some money and weapons. Why don't... That doesn't that happen in real life. You, like... Uh, just go wandering over to Walmart or something, then next thing you know, you wake up in some weird little place, and they're like, Here's a... Here's an... Here is some weapons and money. And you're like, all right. Hmm. But I think it's kind of funny in these ones. Like, everybody has swords. Ooh, wait. Can I take these? I think I can take these. Um, can I take this? Item. Goblet. 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 Yes, I'm going to take these. Wait. Wait. Do I have a uh, weight to worry about? No. Let's check here. <gasps> oh, I don't think I have to worry about weight. Because you have to worry about that all the time and stuff like, uh... Um, like Skyrim or um, Diablo and stuff like that. But no, I get to take everything like I'm in a Bioshock game. Boop, boop. Everything. That's just always the funny thing about that. I always thought it was kind of funny. Oh, so I can go, if I push in the right stick, I go into first person, go to third person. I think the third person model looks kind of meh. First person. And pushing down like that doesn't make me hide. Ooh. Press L button to show the local map, then hide. Okay. I wish they'd stylize the border of that map. It looks kind of like it should be like something you see on the bottom screen of like a Wii U or DS game. Let's see here what we have here. Okay, let's see if there's frames, Stutter. Just a little bit. Ugh. See, okay, so B button jumps. I'm just gonna jump on this fence. And we did actually change the, v the view distance so it's far, far away like this. In fact, I don't know why anyone would play this in third person. If I if it shows me holding my sword when I'm in first person, then I would just stick with first person. Kind of feel like that's more appropriate. Oh, chickens, come here, chickens. Chickens. Yes, I can't pick up the chicken. No, no, no. I'm gonna drive it into the wall. See if that happens. Oh, yes. Run into your invisible walls. <laughs> <laughs> that walking animation. The, that person seems like they have another piece of armor up their butt. Greetings, citizen. Anyways. How can I assist you? Oh, wow. Can I, I, I think that was great. They should totally say that again. Ah. I kind of feel like this needs more voice acting, to be perfectly honest. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, if I talk to him again, he's going to say... Greetings, citizen. How can I assist you? Um, actually, I'm going to say goodbye and then we're going to come back and do that again because that is just great. Greetings, citizen. How can I assist you? <laughs> that reading is so bad. Greetings, citizen. How can I assist you? Um... That, that's... I just need to isolate that and use it as an ISO. Because it's great. Greeting, citizen. How can I assist you? I bid you welcome. Oh, okay. I bid you welcome. Mm, I can trade. Let's see what we can trade. I don't have much on me. I have some... Oh, elderberries, but I'm sure this person's father smells much like them. Some venison, mutton. Oh wait, no, this person's selling me that. I don't have. I have money, so this is. Just, we're just trading it for cash. Ooh, 
chicken meat, pork. There's a lot here. Well, let's actually check and see what they have for bread, decanters, goblets. Oh, this was on me. Oh, that's if I wanted to sell. Eh. No, I don't want to do anything with that. Why can't I take out my sword? Wait, let me go here a second. Probably need to equip it. Yeah, let's equip it. And we'll equip that. We have a lot of these little goblets that we took. You know what? I do have a lot of these goblets, so oh, wait. Yay! First person -y. I wonder if I can break it. Oh. Yes. Ooh, we'll take that. I broke your barrel and I took your gold. And now I'm going to sell you every goblet that was in that person's home that I was in. They were so nice to let me into their home and now I'm going to sell all their uh, their fineries. Yay. Oh no, these do have weight. Well, that's a thing. <laughs> now I don't now I'm not carrying them. I wonder if I can attack those chickens. I'm gonna attack the chickens. Chicken, chicken, yes, chicken. Oh. I will take that chicken meat. And this dude over here, wait, this dude over here, or, or no, oh, it's a, this lady over here. I wonder if those are her Hello. chickens. Okay, she didn't say the whole line. Hello. I guess she didn't have that. Oh well, I wonder if I can attack these people. Like this guard over here. I cannot. There's no friendly fire. There is a stamina bar though. I'm gonna break the barrels. And take your cash. <laughs> Oh no, this thing is bleeding. Well, if it bleeds, you can kill it. Die, Kurt. You do not belong in this world. You are exhausted. Well, yeah. Well, oh, did you see that pop in just a bit ago? Lots of neat little, um... And by neat, I mean terrible um, visual effects, but eh, this, this probably wasn't made with like a big team. It's not very expensive, so the thing is, there's a lot here I like so far. I mean, the combat was fine. There's some uh, trademark kind of like um, <laughs> janky stuff in it, but um, overall, not too bad. Anyways, let me know in the comments below what you think. Hit that thumbs up, the share button, that subscribe button. And um, my suggestion, don't hide your money in barrels or, or boxes in a fantasy world. Some will be long shortly to smash those and take your cash. It's like all those people who put all their money and life savings into uh, pots. And then they realize they're in a Legend of Zelda game. Anywho, let me know in the comments below what you think of this. I think it's got a little bit of potential. I probably have to go see Pritis, and I don't remember where I'm supposed to go. And also, I just kind of like... I just wanted to explore this area around here. You can play this in third person, but... Why? When this... this I feel like the performance is a little bit better here. I do wish the walking speed were a little bit... Oh, there's my blocking. Nope. Also, if they found me on the field, though, I would have had my sword and shield on me, so I'm surprised that, like, they didn't give me the stuff I had. Oh, well. Yeah, but let me know in the comments below what you think. Hit the thumbs up, share button, subscribe button. Ring that little bell so you know if I whenever we have a brand new video here on Area DMG. And until the next video comes out, you are now caught up. Morning, Maya.